Okay, so we are playing against 2000 ELO engine. Let's go with the Scandinavian defense. Let's take with the queen, knight c3, uh, knight c3 I guess. And d4, knight to f3 is next, probably. Okay, let's go knight to f6. Okay, and then playing in those lines, I like to play uh, c6 because now you create a very nice uh, uh, spot for your queen in case you're in uh, some uh, troubles. And uh, this back and forth move go figure, but it's the engine, so nothing. Uh, don't you don't really need to take it uh, that serious let's go e6 um yeah basically we can play uh, bishop b4 <clears throat> and then maybe even uh, knight to e4 to increase the pressure on the queen okay so he, he go immediately with attack but it doesn't seem like he can take because i then can take the rook with the check so Actually, increasing the, the 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 pressure on his position is very nice. And again, if he takes, you take the rook. So it's not like it's going to work. Okay. Um, interesting. So basically, now we must react. Um, yeah, but it's it's not so again. It's not so simple to take. So basically, I can take the knight. If you take the pawn, I can take with the check. So let's go for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he declined, but now we got uh, basically two options. One option is to take the bishop, which is always a very nice idea. Second option is to drop to d5 with the tempo on the queen and the bishop. And after that, I'm not really convinced that he's going to be in a good position because also we got some small pressure on the c2. So it seems like our opponent is uh, just completely collapsing. And again, he still cannot take. Now he can take, okay? But uh, before that, he, he couldn't really take. Now, basically, we got two options. Uh, I can take, but then he can take my my bishop. Um, hmm, I'm not really want to allow that. So for now, let's draw the bishop back. I guess before is coming next. Yeah, I just know the engine too well, obviously. Um, yeah, let's keep going. So, queen. Basically, we got uh, queen to b6, queen to d8 makes sense. I really like uh, queen to b6 because because you're still going to make some pressure on the position. Okay, so <clears throat> he found a nice outpost which he both defends and attack. Okay, so uh, even though I don't really want to give up my bishop, I think that uh, bishop f6 is in the position and if he's going to take, I can take with the knight. Okay, so I see what he's trying to do. He basically, he's trying to deflect the knight in order to mess my pawn structure. So, to be honest, I can just take. If he take, I move the knight. If he take the knight, I move the bishop. Let's see. Okay, so now, of course, that I'm going to move the knight. Um, I really want to sacrifice to open up some lines, but I'm not. I'm not really convinced that uh, it, it's that simple. So, yeah, um, shame. But for now, <clears throat> let's drop to e7. I guess maybe we will try to play for c5, but I'm not really convinced that um, it's going to to make something happen. Let's go knight e7. If I know the engine well, we will try probably to play uh, c5 next okay so basically he's trying to attack uh, g7 we got some options we can short castle uh, we can drop the bishop back um, what else what can we do we can maybe play uh, um, king to f8 to protect but i don't really want to castle queenside because he's got some uh, he's got something not not really in, not not the end of the world, but he's got something. So, yeah, let's for now short castle. Oh, sorry, but he's got also an attack on the knight, so it can't really castle. Um, also, playing a move like g6, we can end up uh, blundering the bishop if we are not careful. So, 
To be honest, also a move like uh, King F8, even though you're not castling, you're protecting both of your weaknesses, and it's not that simple to attack. So, even though <clears throat> I don't really like um, like this idea, I still uh, I still think that I'm completely uh, solid in this position. So, uh, yeah, I think. King F8, even maybe the engine won't really like it, still everything is intact, so I'm comfortable of playing that. Now it's a good moment to drop the queen back, we are defending the knight, we can also drop the rook to the defense. Okay, now we can try <coughs> to uh, move the second rook on uh, F5 with a tempo on the queen, so let's draw back. Okay, now as you see, he's got some double attack on my position. I guess his idea is that um, I will put a rook and then he's going to take this pawn. But uh, basically, I can also try to maybe move the move the knight. So this is also an idea, moving the knight. And if he will try to attack, I can create a very nice outpost. So, yeah. And we are not in a danger uh, for checkmating or anything. Yeah, so as you see, the engine did play the move c5, but... Now we got a great outpost for the knight and our position is definitely completely solid. Basically we can develop the second knight with a tempo on the queen. The position uh, just play itself. <clears throat> um, and yeah, let's find some move guys. Moves, sorry guys. So <clears throat> I guess um, g4 is coming next. Maybe to kick away the knight so we can already play... Uh, <coughs> a move like h5 just not allowing that and um, also we can maybe pl uh, put the king on e7 in order to put the rooks uh, on the center this is also a nice idea yeah but downside is that that uh, king to e7 e7 is basically um, a safe square for a knight on f5 so in case he's going to push up away uh, we don't really want to lose this knight, of course. Even though h6 is a possibility. Mm, okay, so let's... Uh, okay, I convinced to play h5. Now we got some safe spots. Okay, so basically we try to probably uh, go for um, a g4. Yeah. Um, and we don't really have any discoveries, I guess. Maybe knight h4, I guess, because we do have some discoveries, but... Okay, to be honest, maybe maybe we can also play uh, knight to e3, because now we got an attack on the rook. So, actually, I don't know how I missed that. Probably just tired after walk. So, yeah, and he cannot really take the knight, because the second knight is going to defend. So, yeah, so he must decline, and as you see, he's going to lose the rook. Now, if I can give you a small tip if you want to improve in chess before just going all in for the night, let's see if, some, if we maybe have something better in the position. Uh, maybe we have some uh, better moves, but to be honest, I don't really see it. So, yeah. Oh, wait. We also got a small move of uh, bishop to c2. Now we are attacking the rook and the queen once again. And it's a double attack on the rook. And actually it's not so simple to defend the rook with the queen. So it seems like he maybe lose, we lose a piece. Or maybe we'll try to sacrifice his queen in order to win enough pieces to survive. But yeah, it seems like actually queen c2 just increasing the pressure. Yeah, very nice. Now after taking uh, the rook, <coughs> you need to take the, with the bishop. I take with the knight. And then we can also drop to safety. So as you see, guys, uh, is just completely collapsing. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, I actually missed that. Okay, so he's taking the knight first. Mm. So he's still fine after all, but... Yeah, um, we are still up a lot of material. So I did miss that he can take the knight first, of course. He can take the knight and then uh, and take the bishop. Okay, so anyway, basically we got, we are up a rook, 
and maybe a pawn or two. Let's see, we got seven pawns again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we up a uh, we are up a full rook. So as you see, this is uh, completely winning, of course. We just need uh, to find now the uh, the top moves. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, I think that uh, we can maybe try to find a new spot for. Uh, for the queen, we also need to consider that he can now play for uh, e4, kicking away our knight. Um, so we need to consider that. That maybe we need to find some uh, new outpost for the knight. So uh, let's for now put the rook on the center on the d file. I guess e4 is coming next. No. Okay. Um, I really really want to double up but I still think that it's not the right moment to do so. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's improve the position of the queen for now. Um, I want to find a new spot for the knight but it's not so simple also we do need to uh, develop the, the second rook. So it's obviously it's completely winning, but it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Um, okay, so let's lift the rook. Okay, so he's still not committing, of course. He's still not committing. Hmm, not not so simple to find the move actually, even though it sounds really weird. It's really not so simple to find the move. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go a6. Now maybe we can try to create a new outpost for the knight. Okay, and I guess maybe knight g5 is the idea. Yeah, I'm not really sure, but... We can also uh, try to drop uh, the king to safety and double up the rook. So this is also an idea. And this move, I'm not really convinced that it's strong, but I guess he's trying to maybe attack with the rook. So we just need to keep that in mind. So let's move the king, just making some space for the rook, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's solidify everything. Yeah, so he's building some more and more pressure on the position. Um, so let, let's keep the king on the e8 in order to support this pawn. <clears throat> now for now, if we're going to play b knight b5, we can try to pressure this pawn. You can obviously push. And then we can uh, plant the knight on uh, c3, creating some pressure on this position. If it's trying to attack, we can drop back. And then we can also drop back again. So I think... I actually like the idea of trying to make something happen, trying to maybe create some weaknesses around this position. Mm, so basically we already got some uh, very nice targets. We already got some targets. We just need to make sure that we are not plundering anything of course. And I guess he will try to maybe go for a draw in this position. Mm, a check in this position is not. I I don't I don't really see the point. Maybe creating a very nice outpost, yeah, but I don't really see the point of uh, of doing that. Mm, no, let's let's drop back. Okay, now. Um. <clears throat> let's drop the knight. Putting pressure on this pawn, also on this pawn as well. Okay, so basically decided <coughs> to exchange uh, with a discover attack on uh, on f7. But uh, as you see, everything is intact. So for now, I can take with the pawn. I can take with the rook. Um, let's take with the rook because it seems like it's uh, more solid actually. And we we are going to try to enjoy our um, our. Um, Double uh, double rooks. Okay, so <coughs> let's drop the rook back to d7. Now we play king to g7. And we are trying to double up. And as you see, it's important to leave the queen 
to defend this pawn I just mentioned because he's going for a check of course I guess he will take with the pawn or with the rook okay so with the pawn but as you see it's not really dangerous everything is completely fine I guess he will pro probably going to play uh, e5 because uh, you're going to solidify the, the pawn chains but it's obviously not enough it's obviously not enough yeah so let's let's play um, let's play king f8 we are still yeah so as you see five just solidify everything the engine really like to play in, the, in those kinds of position but as you see being up a rook it's going to be uh, uh, really <coughs> a winning game for us of course i guess maybe yeah g3 and i just know the engine too well i guess guys okay um let's develop the second rook Okay, and let's try to build some pressure on his position. Oh, this is actually a very nice move, but okay, uh, fortunately we can block. Okay, and obviously being uh, down, the, down the rook is not going to win everything. We can almost remove everything. Okay, of course, let's just take. We can also give a check in order to secure this pawn. And yeah, basically this is uh, just almost over. Let's push, let's try to create a new queen. Check. Okay, and uh, yeah, basically let's try to create a new queen. I guess we will probably be going to play for h5. Now, if I can... Yeah, h5. Now, if I can give you an um, instruction for those kinds of position, if, especially if you're going to play against the engine. And by the way, sorry if the, this game took so long, but I am a bit tired of the walk. Now, in the, those positions, the engine likes to um, squeeze his king as much as possible in order to draw this game. That uh, his screen is going to be lack of space because he cannot really push or do anything. So after taking the pawn, as you see, he still got some legal moves, but always, uh, always you need to make sure that he's got some legal move because he will try to, um, he will try to squeeze his king as as best as possible, even though you wrap the material, uh, he will try to uh, force a draw on you. So you need to be extremely careful if you are playing this line. Now, <clears throat> I actually like the idea of playing uh, rook g3, just making a new rook and going for the mate now as you see he still got some legal moves so we don't really need to be worried about everything and yeah this is basically a gg well played okay now i won't analyze this game because it was uh, really long but i just want to see what's the accuracy by the engine okay so basically the agent gave us a, a rating of 2000 playing this game so this was a very nice uh, very nice game uh, 86 accurate, accurate so percent so it was good uh, yeah hope you enjoyed guys